to be showing you how you can set up your email account to your Longzi recorder device and that way you can receive alerts and notifications for different settings that you've set up so like motion detection or face detection etc or just general recording so from the menu page we need the configuration option and from the configuration page we would like to select we need to select network so this is found um, on the left hand side it's the second option and on the top we can select email so i've already set everything up but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you through each option step by step so that you understand why um, i've entered something a certain way or why i've selected a certain option so the most important thing is we actually need to enable email notifications, which I've done because there's a green tick in the box. Then we need to select the SMTP server that we want to use. So there's different options for them depending on what you want to use. So there's Live, there's Yahoo, there's Gmail. And um, if for any option, um, any reason you have, you're using a server that's not listed below, you've got an option to click on custom and then at the bottom you can enter what this customized server is. Then for the SMTP port number, for Gmail it's 465. And we do recommend using Gmail just because it's just a very easy setup. But if you're using a different server, you simply just Google what the SMTP port for that server is and you'll get the answer on, um, on your search. Then for your username, you want to put in your full email address and for the password, that would be your personal password to that email address. Then for the sender, again, you need to double check this that you're putting in the exact sender, so what your name would appear if you were sending an email. And then the sender's address would be the email address that it's coming from. Now, you've got another option here, which is select recipients. And this is if you want maybe one or two different emails to receive notifications. So you've got three, up to three recipients that you can add. So we've added in a backup um, for two different email addresses to receive the alert in case one was busy or one didn't really look into their email. And then you've got your subject. So that's once you receive the email, what it's gonna be about. So we've just put alert so that we know it's something that we really need to look at. Then you've got your interval time period. So we've selected one, but you can select two, you can select you know, however minutes you really want. And then for your encryption, so for Gmail, we've collect, um, selected SSL, but you can select something else if you want to. And then we click to attach file, because say for example, if um, a face is detected, we want um, the file that shows us which face is detected, or if a motion is detected, we wanna see what that motion is. You've also got the option to put time periods in. We've left it as 24 hours because that's what we want, but say if you only want it for an hour every single day, you can change that as well. And we've also enabled auto email. So once you've done everything, you can apply these settings and then you can do a test run. So for us, once we click this, it's gonna be testing email. And then if it's successful, you will get this little tip box that says success, check the inbox, which will tell you that this is the email tester. For whatever reason, but this is just for Gmail users, if you get an error message, you can log into your Gmail account and then you can go on to manage Google account. And then once you go on to manage Google account, you can click on security. And at the bottom of the page, you'll have an option that says less secure app access. Now you need to make sure that this is on. Once you select this, you can do these steps again, resend the email and that should fix your problem. Um, so I've also been showing you images on the screen as well, um, how you can go about doing this. And that's how you can set up your email address.